today we are making some banana muffins with coconut and we'll go straight ahead to our ingredients very simple just five and additional three ingredients which are optional so you're using Elliot's atamak one flour this video is not sponsored i just love the flour it was recommended by a friend here we're using three ripe bananas coconut cream you can use yogurt but i love the texture of the coconut cream and i love this santa maria yeah um here we're using some oil i love canola oil in baking but you can use coconut oil olive oil yeah um it gives the the, the dough a good texture at the end here we have jaggery yeah they're just in chunks but we'll work on them to be fine for easier blending and now to our magic ingredient, we have the energy gluten-free baking powder. To me, you can use it in gluten and gluten-free ingredients, our flours. And this has good ingredients. This does not leach vitamins from your gut. I'm trying to focus, you see the ingredients. But we have calcium carbonate, magnesium. There you go, calcium carbonate, glucona, data, and citric acid. Yeah. And to our optional ingredients, we have ginger powder, cardamom, and also the oil is optional. You don't have to. So those are our only ingredients. And straight ahead, we will begin working on the jaggery and the bananas. Yes, and we'll mix it together with the cream into the blender. So here we go. So please check in the description box for the exact ingredients. Mm -hmm. so those are the things we're going to add into the blender beginning with our cream yeah i love the texture of the cream it's thick it has some oil and some form of thickness that will attract everything to itself we have the jaggery and the bananas which we'll add also to the blender and all you're going to do is just to blend this to a uniform texture that you'll be able to mix well with your flowers. Yeah, and once this is done, you'll see how beautiful it will look. It will be looking like some, some milkshake of some sort or maybe some yogurt of some sort. Yes, so oh, I forgot to add the oil. The oil does add a soft texture. Uh, to the product to the end product so here we're blending remember i said the oil is optional if you want to do it oil free no problem after all the coconut has the natural oil so this is how it has come out yeah so we'll have it there aside so that we can begin working on the dry ingredients now to our dry ingredients here we have a big bowl that will accommodate all the ingredients and a spatula and i'm adding a whole wheat flour again this video is not sponsored completely i just love the wheat flour um and then you notice with our baking powder we are doing much more than you would have done with a normal baking powder and it's because this baking powder does not have sodium that tends to be more reactive and rise uh, more than calcium and magnesium so there i'm adding my ginger and my cardamom after this i'll do the mixing evenly then i'm going to create a well in the middle that is really optional anyway and then we will now go ahead and pour our blended uh, ingredients so there we go I have done this recipe a lot of times and that's why I am sure that the texture will come out well. But before that I used to go slow on adding all the ingredients. Yeah, so I'm now mixing gently. Please, please remember to mix gently. Do not over mix. This baking powder is not like the other one. And this is not cornmeal you are making. So this is the texture we want to achieve it is compact but pliable as well yeah and here we have our silicone cupcakes 
I've put them ready for baking. They can withstand heat and you'll just pop them out. They don't stick. Yeah. And right now I have preheated my oven already to 190 degrees Celsius. And I'll pop this into the oven once I'm done. So yeah, we want to do them evenly as you've seen. Tap a little to remove some air. You can do some decorations on top. Honestly, I did not have that time, but you can do that. You can even pour some sesame seeds. So here, this is how they have come out. This is after um, one hour. Put five minutes to one hour. And this is how they are looking beautiful. We'll allow them to cool down before we remove. Yeah, I've just removed one of it. Still steaming hot. But it will allow them to cool down fast. Yeah. And once they have cooled. We will enjoy them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you like this recipe. Please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think. I'll do some substitutes. In the description box. This is the texture very soft no ugali no cornmeal and try this recipe tell me no let me know how it came out for you what you think yeah bye for now thanks for watching subscribe and like come, come.